No more talking about it When we ignite We are stars In a darkened sky When you Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. I need the light thing here. <laughs> welcome to my channel. We're doing your love. Okay, so this is your love, um, but do check out the other readings we have as we do have the career finances for um, for monthlies only, for monthlies. Um, we'll see what happens now with your love. So this is for July, okay? If it resonates, it's good. If it doesn't, then let it fly, okay? We don't do cross-watching here. However, you can always watch your other placement. So you do not need to wait for your sun sign. There's your ascendant, your moon, and then your sun sign. You can also watch your Venus and Jupiter. So it only means that if you are focused on sun, then that's not going to be helping you out thoroughly. So you can get those other, um, you know, so if you have a sun in... Um, sun in Leo, Virgo Ascendant. I like to watch the Ascendant and the Moon sign to start with. And then relationship, I go for Venus. So let's just say you have a Venus in Gemini, then you go for the Gemini. So you do not restrict yourself from Sun. It really is limiting and it doesn't give you much of a prediction. You need to do um, like more than the Sun sign, okay? You need at least three, okay? So let's see what's going on. Oh, and don't forget, um, mm, High Priestess, you're manifesting something. Um, the abundance box is, is out. And this is one of my favorite piece in the box because it has an agate. And it comes with a candle too. But for me, this one is what I really, really like. The agate. I love this. I'm so, so, so. Like, if you want to put some cheese in it, you know, some chips. <laughs> this is a platter. No, but this is one of my favorite pieces. It comes with a spray also. So check it out. We have four kinds now. We have four kinds of... Um, and we do release new boxes every week for each of your flavor, okay? Whatever you feel like you're manifesting. So let's see what's going on. Someone is trying to make a stand here. You don't want to walk away. You don't want to stay. So you're in a standstill with your relationship. Okay, let's see what's going on. You feel trapped. You see that Eight of Swords. You feel like they've already put you in a state where I can't let go. You can always let go. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's it's a choice of choosing yourself when letting go. Okay. It depends. If there are things that are ties, which is karmic, meaning you have kids, that's karmic. You're married, that's karmic. You have something you sign, that's karmic. You live together, karmic, you know. But other than that, if you're just seeing someone and dating, let go. Mm -hmm. See what's going on. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's begin. That was just an intuitive briefing for the Virgos. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> King of Cups. Okay. Why is my camera? I feel like it's far, so near and far. Okay, we'll see. The key of cups is an energy of, um, might as well be on frame because it's like, why am I on the side? Okay. Oh, because of my mic. Okay. Um, king of cups. Uh, it looks like, uh, one, you are not as much as involved as this person. They're the king of cups. We don't switch roles here. So this is a Scorpio. So regardless, they're a water sign who's in love with you. And if you're cross watching, you can't flip this. Now it's the Virgo who's in love. No. My divination process, it sticks with the message, and if it doesn't, you go, okay? Um, this, is not, this is not that kind of uh, reading anymore, okay? So you go for other readers, not this channel. Um, so they're in love with you, period. They want you, period. They think about you, period. You, Virgo, don't have that with them. I sense you're out of the picture. You feel that, why would I do anything here? 
yes, they love me, but why now? Okay, and again, this is a king of cups. This is a person who's like, ooh, love, you know. Yeah, you're out of the picture. I can totally see. Mm -hmm. King of cups. Now, I'm not sure what you're doing and what you're manifesting, but you're not interested with this person. You feel like, you know, it's like Sal, they always offer this cup, you know, and they're, they're this, so they're this wonderful person. But then that, you know, when they approach me, Sal, it's literally, you would think like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Here's the king of cups. Mm. Now the king is, not, is non-gender, so either a bro or, you know, a grr. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh girl. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Nine of Swords. Okay. Now, is this you? Is this them? It's, uh... It's you. You may not be around them. You may not talk to them. But... You know, by the end of the day at night, before you go to bed, it's them that you think about. Mm -hmm. Now, not to the point of anxiety, but there is a sense of, uh, like, um, missing the comfort, the familiarity of the relationship. That's what you're constantly um, thinking of. It's the part where, I wonder what they're doing. I wonder, it's not about, ooh, do they think about me? No. It's more of like, where are they in their life now? Not that you're concerned. No, I don't think so. I don't feel that. Um, you just feel like this person, someone here, his name is Anne. Sometimes you get random. Anne. Okay. Uh, um, and you're feeling here like there are things that the two of you could build together. And this is like in a, in a very subconscious way that you're thinking about this. You You feel like things between the two of you have been like it was wrapping the two of you together but it was toxic. They were coming at you and then leaving you, coming at you and leaving you. And this person is very, very smooth with the words. Like it's something about them when they talk to you that they manage to just persuade you with anything. And even though you guys are in the height of an argument, they have a way of making you feel like, no, it's good. No, it's good. Mm -hmm. And you still think about them on that level. Okay. Five of Pentacles, see? I told you, you're out of the picture, no contact, no communication. And then it's them right now who feels this. Um, you know, the need to talk to you, the need to engage to you, the need to, um, well, Five of Pentacles is talk. Like, let's have a conversation. Okay. Like, I've been really, like, with the Mercury and Retrograde, a little bit challenged, you know. This camera always works, but right now it doesn't want. Okay. <laughs> it just doesn't want to focus. You see that? Wow, normally it does focus. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So, the need to be with you is upon them. But with the Nine of Swords, you're not in the mood to converse. You're not in the mood to talk. You feel like, okay, um, they need me, but for what reason? Is it just a person to talk to? Because you're looking for a relationship, right? You're, you're looking for something serious, not a person who's a ghost. Because if you keep looking for a ghost, you'll never find it. Mm -hmm. Never find it. Seven of Pentacles. So you, you're making this person wait and simmer. So you're basically putting them in a crock pot. Mm, I love a good crock pot. Mm -hmm. So let, let them simmer, Sal. Let them soak. Okay. I need them to understand what they have done to me. And it doesn't matter if they have feelings for me, but this person need to soak. This person need to understand where I stand. Okay. I was worried for them. I was concerned about them, but I draw the limit. 
it drove me to insanity. It made me feel like I was crazy, sir. I was crazy. And then this person now, okay, made me this. And now I have to go and heal myself. So now they got to wait, so Now they got to wait. Mm-hmm. I see you. I hear you, Virgo. I hear you. Mm-hmm. And as far as like you're concerned, Virgo, like life is good for you. Now, if you're going to say it's like, well, my life is not good. And this is not the Virgo that I'm reading. Because clearly, there's a Nine of Pentacles Virgo here. Do not think that this is you alone that I'm reading and we're sitting down. Okay? So it's YouTube. It's a platform. There's a gazillion who's going to watch this. Okay? Because there's always that one person. You're not even sidereal. Mm -hmm. Remember, I practice sidereal astrology. So, Nine of Pentacles. You good. You know, you, you feel like... This is the time where I'm changing myself, Sal. This is the time where I'm reinventing myself. I just, because this is my apartment, condo living. So, Sal, I'm just looking right now. I'm browsing. Maybe I'm even ready for a house. Maybe I'm ready for, you know, to have my own business, Sal. My future right now is bright, Sal. And, of course, your future is bright because the other person, I'm going to go closer. Mm -hmm. The other person is not looking so bright. Okay, see, when I move, then the mic is there. Mm. Okay. I ain't complaining. Saturn does not want complaints. Yes. So the people who put complain and everything, complain, 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 Saturn brings the karma. So for me, it's like, it's okay. It's okay, boo. It's okay. The karma, the, mm -mm. Yeah. Not an ounce of complaint because uh, then there is entitlement. And then Saturn will say, ooh, you entitled? You entitled? Okay, then there's karma. Accept. Mm. Nine of Pentacles. So, um, Nine of Pentacles, that's why, you. did you ever notice a person who complains all about their life never really gets anything in their life? Mm. Saturnian. Your Saturn becomes more, oh, okay, oh, okay. Never complain. Not one day that you should complain. Accept the karma. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, so I do this when I coach. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. I'm good and I'm heading towards something better in my life. Knight of Swords, but they're come, gonna come by and swing to your phone, to your house, to your window to talk to you. Hopefully it's not a creep who's in the window. <laughs> Knight of Swords really is looking like a fast-moving communication that they want to bring towards you. Well, one, Virgo, it's... It feels like the person wants to clarify things. It feels like the person wants to get to the bottom of the situation. How do you feel about them? They want to clarify this. Younger air sign can be. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups, yeah? They're asking if you still have feelings. Mm. Mm. Told you. How do you feel about them? Well, one cell, you know, I'm doing well, but I still have feelings for them. I can survive this life without them, but this person is someone special. Love of your life? Maybe. Not yet. I, I don't feel it that you're that, you know. But with the ace of the king, though... Something is about to turn around. It's them who's coming to you after not talking to you for quite some time because they're realizing your value and you're standing up your ground. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, Virgo. Ooh. Five of Pentacles with the Five of Wands, but this person always has... They contradict themselves. Message, call, see the Virgo, and then e ooh, ooh, no. So it doesn't manifest. Because they don't have the will. And they're the one who sabotage this. They would have the urge. They'll be on their phone. They'd be, you know, I'm going to see the Virgo. I'm going to talk to you. And then there you go. Conflict. Other people also opinions bothers them. Ooh, you know, like they have a friend. Because some of these are other people's opinions. Like, no, you don't call the Virgo. The Virgo did it too. Pop, 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 pop. The parents, the best friend trying to throw shade now not just at you it's because they only hear one side of the story so of course the best friend would always say come on bro you don't go to the virgo because one side of the story is not heard now if they heard your story virgo chances are the family the friends would agree you say come on guys you guys need to talk to each other 
Exactly. That's why you don't listen to those people around you because they would always choose one side. Because even though you air out both sides, you have the two of you. Mm. So, under the Seven of Pentacles is the Three of Pentacles. Well, you're making them wait. Well, one, you got a lot of uh, things to do at work, at home. There's a Five of Coins. So, it feels like, um, you know, you have to go back to school. Was, wow. Because Three of Pentacles is school also. School comes in different form. So, it doesn't need to be like a university. Okay? You're learning something. Okay? Um because this is a hobby, a skill, online class, webinars. There's so much. Okay. So the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten, really like you're looking at buying a home. Ten of Pentacles. You want to buy a home. You want to settle. You're looking forward a relationship that is structured, that is stable. So you're not going to be, you don't want to be with, a, you know, in and out. You want to be the moving in together and happy home. The person is nine of cups, so it means like they're wishing right now that they are a part of your life because you guys can be the ten of cups. Nine to the ten of cups. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I see you loud and clear. Our the ace of cups is eight of pentacles. It looks like you are too busy to attend to what they're trying to manifest with you. You got things to worry, things to think about. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you get the Knight of Wands. Yeah. So they're quick to connect, but then they bounce right away. So it's almost like a yo yo. Mm -hmm. Yo yo. See. King of Swords. Some of you are go really going back to schools. You know, I'm try trying to plan, you know, um, higher higher learning like phd md mda nba whatever fbi whatever degree that you want to put at to add to your name okay so phd you know um so the king of swords is looking like your goal is to become more successful your goal is to get out of the rut okay now there can be same sex energy also here chariot you're moving on up yeah so you're moving forward regardless Cancerian. You got Aqua, Sag, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Interesting. Only one major arcana. So you ain't looking back. Your mind is set. You're all about coins and success. You're all about independence right now. If they can keep up, they will have to step up. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Time waits for no one, including this person, because that's what you're doing. All right. Well, we'll see how they try to catch up with you. A ghost of the past, basically comes to surface the person who has ghosted you is now wanting to talk to you plain and simple all right so anyhow i'll continue this reading in the re in the extended oh hold on also if you check my website at eatreadlove.me we do have new zodiac you can shop by zodiac we'll put it in the comments so now you can get a, a specific zodiac um amulets and um crystals for the pouch uh, like you can put it in your bag in your pocket in your car so check it out so we made it simpler and easier for you guys um so it's going to be in the comments and then here i'll get the past uh, the next 30 days past present and future we'll finish this first and then get different scenarios and a focus card the focus card is very important because you will forget this and there's going to be one card that will stick into your mind which i will teach you so that you can maintain focus okay so thank you very much, uh, Virgos, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful um, day ahead of you. And I'll see you guys again. Bye. One of the best features of having a Line 27 in your phone is the transit. You can see on your lower right corner, you can click it and it will tell you everything about how the current transit movements of the planets based on your own chart the way that it works is once you have put your time and place of birth it will give you this horoscope as you can see here it is projecting on june 21st the solar eclipse if you click that it will give you all the information about how 
the eclipse is going to be affecting you. You can see here in this yellow highlight how it will manifest in your life. And to add a bonus to this, you can also see it for other zodiacs. If you have an Aries, if you have a Taurus, it can show you every little thing about that zodiac. A Gemini, a Cancer, all to the 12 zodiacs. You can also share this as there is a share button. You can share it to your friends, family, or your loved ones. And that is your transit. 